this is a random one and something maybe a lot of people won't really care about but it feels like to me Travis Scott and his team have been given some sort of indication that whatever court case they're going through in terms of the Asher World travesty or tragedy sorry um that Travis isn't going to be directly impacted by it he's not going to serve any jail time he probably won't have to pay that much of a fine and maybe the blame will be solely put at the feet of like Live Nation or somebody else or maybe the local police department I've got the feeling that's going to happen and why do you say that because of the recent news that's been you know spread on social so the first bit of news was as follows it says Travis Scott announces new event safety initiative in response to the Ashland War tragedy right and it says Travis Scott announced a new initiative called Project Hill following the November the 5th tragedy at the 2021 Astro World Festival. Built as a multi-tier long-term series of community-focused philanthropy and investment efforts, the initiative is broken into four categories. The Wayman Webster Webster HBC Youth Scholarship Fund, an expansion of the Cactus Youth Design Center, free mental health resources, and a U.S. Conference of Mayors Task Force of Event Safety. Project Hill is backed by a multi-million dollar funding commitment from Scott with a portion of the proceeds from his up-and-coming product launches also going towards the initiative. Build reports. Over the past months, I've been taking the time and space again to grieve and reflect and to do my part to heal my community. No, you haven't. Um, most importantly, I want to use my resources and platform moving forward towards actionable change. My team and I created a project, my team and I created a project to heal, um, to project heal, sorry, to take much needed action towards supporting real solutions that make all events the safest spaces they can possibly be. I will always honor the victims of the Asher World tragedy who remain in my heart forever. No, they don't. Giving back and creating opportunities for the youth is something I've always done and will continue to do as long as I have the chance. This program will be a catalyst to real change and I can't wait to introduce the rest of the technology and the ideas we've been working on at my album. That's the most important thing. I think to me it's all capital bullshit because obviously we saw action speak louder than words. When the actual tragedy happened, he was pushing to perform in places he wanted to go out again and obviously the reception from the public and whatnot wasn't the greatest the festivals and whatnot were dropping him before he decided to pull out from them which again indication to me that he felt like he didn't do anything wrong did he do anything wrong or not who knows but in terms of actually feeling guilty and feeling somewhat responsible for it i don't think he feels responsible for it in the slightest and i think for the most part which i argued before i think travis Scott, because he's got you know he's probably one of the only people in hip-hop i can think of with the exception of maybe kendrick lamar who has got a clean-cut image where he can they can put his face to nearly everything and it would sell and it won't be any problem in terms of cancellations and finding out clips of him saying you know calling people faggots or calling people retards or whatever it's not going to happen right he's clean-cut and i think because of that he makes a lot of people a lot of money a lot of people a lot of money and because he puts on a hell of a live show you know every live show is like a um a signal boost and an advertisement for other things that he wants to do continually continually because of that those same people will not let a cash cow like him die away or die out or you know disappear it's not going to happen he's responsible for people's private school educations he pays people's car notes and mortgages and whatnot people need travis scott so it was it was evident to me that they were going to do whatever it took to make sure that he was not responsible for the tragedy and that he would be able to get away with it scot-free and then i think this is part of the sort of um, repairing the court of public opinion around him because for the most part if he's found not guilty or not responsible in the court of law it doesn't matter what he does with this stuff he could just continue performing and no one will care because he's able to do so but i think in terms of repairing his somewhat um safe public image this is a step in the right direction right by making it look like you give a shit make it look like you care make it look like it's really tearing you apart and you want to use this moment as a teachable moment to change everything going forward to help everybody die blah 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 which is not the case and then so this is one thing which i thought was evidence of it and then the second thing which i thought was evidence that clearly he's been given good news was the fact that he posted this weird video of himself just smiling you know it's, i guess maybe the the light hit his face well and he felt buff or something but this to me led me to believe that definitely travis has been told behind the scenes that everything's going to be all right 
that he's going to be completely fine. He's going to be not responsible. He's going to be back performing at these venues and at these festivals where they clearly said he couldn't perform because they didn't want a negative backlash. Um, he's going to feel completely fine with it, in my opinion. I think so. Maybe I'm reading into it wrong and people think otherwise, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think he will get away with this scot-free? No pun intended. I do. If you do not, leave me, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know in the comments down below.